Eleven Labs is a world leader in AI sounds of various kinds and also in realistic cloning of voices. So this is a separate service with a separate subscription that you can use to get a significantly better result than HeyGen can create. Here's the voice created by HeyGen. So do all who see such times, but that is not for us to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. And here's what the Voice 11 Labs got to create sounds like. So do all who see such times, but that is not for us to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. Just like in the video cloning in HeyGen, you need to spend some time and energy to achieve a decent quality of the sound in the training data. The training data in this case is significantly more extensive than in HeyGen. It must be one or more audio files with a total length of at least two hours according to Eleven Labs recommendations. It is also important here to have as clean a recording as possible. No background music, no traffic noises, no talking colleagues. Just your voice talking. Exactly what is said doesn't matter here either. Read aloud from your favorite book in whatever language you want. Here again, the AI model will mimic you. If you sound bored while reading, the AI voice will also sound bored. Eleven Labs has features to clean up breathing, sighing, mouthing, and so on. But for the absolute best results, you should minimize that whenever you can. Again, I think you should get professional help with the recording. It's a one-time cost, and you'll be able to use your AI voice as much as you like later. A sensible microphone, puff protection, and a little direction will make a big difference in the long run. I won't go into more depth about how Eleven Labs works in this course. That's a topic for a whole course of its own. But the feature you should be looking for is under Voices. Add a new voice and professional voice clone when you get an account at Eleven Labs. Double check which membership level is required to use the feature. Then follow the instructions to upload your audio file with the training data and wait a few hours and you will then have access to an incredibly realistic AI clone of your voice. It can be used to generate new talk clips directly in Eleven Labs, but you want to be able to use the voice directly in HeyGen. You do this by using the API key function. The API allows these two services to communicate with each other and understand that the accounts are related. The API key feature is now available when I record in the menu that appears when you click your name. In there, you can choose to create an API key and copy the code that you then get back. Back in HeyGen, you then go into AI Voice and then click on Integrate Third-Party Voice. There you paste your API key. Then import your professional voice into the HeyGen Voice Library. Then just select it when it's time to create new videos. With Eleven Labs AI model Multilingual V2, which is the best when this is recorded, you get different setting controls linked to the voice in HeyGen. Stability, similarity, and style can be found in the places where you can adjust voice settings. These affect the end result quite significantly, so I'll go through what they mean. Stability indicates how much the voice varies in pitch and speed. A low value gives a more varied tonality, and a high one a bit more consistent with the risk of it becoming a bit monotonous. Below 30%, you start to risk instability in the speech generation. Similarity is about how much room AI has to deviate from the exact sound of the original recording. A low value is recommended if your voice generation has sounds that shouldn't really be there. Noise or various background sounds, for example. A high value, however, gives the best definition and similarity in the voice if the original recording was of good quality and without disturbing and irrelevant sounds. Very high values have a tendency to create unwanted effects in the sound. So, experiment. Style is a slightly fuzzy slider that is a little difficult to describe. Eleven Labs themselves describe the style adjustment as exaggerating the speaking style of the person who recorded the voice. It is set to zero by default, but if you feel that the voice feels too smooth, you can try raising this meter and get a slightly more personally colored tonality back. What is right is difficult to answer because it both depends on subjective opinion as well as the message and target group. Personally, I usually have stability around the 50 mark, similarity around 80 and style at 10. If it sounds too contrived, I start by turning back the style slider. This is something you need to test and listen to yourself, but feel free to use my values as a starting point. Good luck with your professional voice clone. 
Hey, this is me, Philip, the real me, no avatar. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to support my channel, use the affiliate link you find in the description. Have an amazing day.